Well, Tristan, then I can tell you that this sighting would give you goosebumps because it is a sight that we haven't seen for a while. A silhouetted ground hornbill sitting in a tree, which I think is a very, very special uh, thing to see. Now, Tr uh, Craig and I managed to spot two. They were actually about to cross Gowrie, Maine and enter Little Gowrie. And then they obviously, I think they were a bit frightened by us coming down the road. You know what hornbills are like, and particularly the southern ground hornbills. They're not the the fondest of the cars. They seem to be one of the more shy birds uh, that we get out here. But isn't that an absolutely beautiful scene? So, like I said, we only saw two, but they, it could be that family of four that we actually on a regular basis see around here. And now, Mr. Bird, if you could understand me, please could you do me one favor and let out your beautiful call as you sit up in that tree? That would really, really, really make my day today. We're going to have to start teaching Craig the bird calls. It always reminds me of marimba drums, though. That... I can't even do it. Should we play it? Let's play it. Where do I need to go now? I suppose going into my bird app would be a good idea. Hello, beautiful. Now, I wish the other one would also fly on up so that we could have a look at two silhouetted hornbills. Right, are you ready? Isn't that beautiful? No, I don't feel too bad about playing that call because that bird is very, very far away. We parked it quite a distance just to make sure that we give it enough room so that it doesn't feel frightened by our presence. And as we sit at this distance, it's quite happy to just perch itself on the tree. And that's what hornbills would do, and particularly the southern ground hornbills. As their name suggests, they predominantly move around on the ground. They are active hunters constantly moving through long grass trying to flush out snakes and rats and chameleons you name it even bird chicks they will feast on but when they do feel a little bit timid and as though they need to get off of the ground they are well capable of flying to a massive wingspan which will take them straight up to the top of a tree and in this case a marula tree which is making a nice sheltered spot that is gorgeous Craig Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 